testing procedures, quality assurance, and reporting in microbiology laboratory. Welcome to the fascinating world of microbiology laboratory operations. In this space, the quality, safety, and efficacy of pharmaceutical products rely heavily on rigorous testing procedures and strong quality control measures. Whether it's sterility testing, identifying microorganisms, or ensuring endotoxin levels are within safe limits, the work done in these laboratories is essential for ensuring that the medicines we rely on are free from harmful contaminants. The foundation of these processes lies in following standardized methods and ensuring that every test is carried out with precision. But it doesn't stop there. The role of quality assurance and consistent equipment maintenance is crucial for upholding accuracy and reliability across the board. Validation of test methods ensures that every step is fine-tuned to avoid any errors and the proper training of laboratory personnel guarantees that testing is in capable hands. In this journey through pharmaceutical microbiology, we'll explore how these key pillars, testing procedures, quality control, equipment maintenance, and personnel competency come together to form a reliable system, helping pharmaceutical products meet the highest safety standards. One, testing procedures. The testing procedures outlined in the guidelines are fundamental to ensuring the quality, safety, and efficacy of pharmaceutical products. Testing procedures in pharmaceutical microbiology laboratories are designed to detect and quantify microorganisms that may be present in drug products, manufacturing environments, or raw materials. The guidelines emphasize that all tests should be performed according to standard procedures as described in the relevant national, regional, or international pharmacopoeias, such as the United States Pharmacopoeia, USP, the European Pharmacopoeia, EP, or the Japanese Pharmacopoeia, JP. Laboratories are also permitted to use alternative testing methods if they can demonstrate that these methods are equivalent or superior to official methods. This ensures flexibility and adaptability in laboratory operations, provided that the alternative methods undergo rigorous validation and are proven to yield accurate, reliable, and reproducible results. In particular, microbiological tests for sterility, endotoxins, microbial enumeration, and identification of microorganisms must meet stringent criteria to avoid false positives or negatives that could impact product quality or safety. Types of Microbiological Tests Pharmaceutical microbiology laboratories are tasked with conducting a wide array of microbiological tests, each with its own set of specific guidelines and validation requirements. Some of the key tests include Sterility testing This is one of the most critical tests performed in microbiology laboratories. Sterility tests are conducted to ensure that pharmaceutical products, particularly those labeled as sterile, are free from viable microorganisms. The test must be performed under strict aseptic conditions, usually in a clean room or an isolator with grade A air quality. The guidelines provide detailed instructions on environmental monitoring, personnel gowning, and equipment validation for sterility testing to minimize contamination risks. Microbial enumeration tests. These tests are designed to count the number of viable microorganisms in non-sterile products. Methods such as plate counts, membrane filtration, and most probable number, MPN, are used to estimate the microbial load. The guidelines emphasize the importance of method validation to ensure that the chosen method can accurately recover and enumerate microorganisms from the test material, even in the presence of potential inhibitors like preservatives. Endotoxin testing. The presence of bacterial endotoxins, pyrogens, in injectable drugs or medical devices can pose serious risks to patients. Therefore, endotoxin testing is required for products intended for parenteral use. The most commonly used method is the limulus amoebocyte lysate, LAL, test, which detects endotoxins derived from the cell walls of gram-negative bacteria. The guidelines outline the procedures for preparing samples, validating the test, and interpreting results to ensure that endotoxin levels are within acceptable limits. Identification of microorganisms. Once microorganisms are isolated during testing, it is crucial to identify them to assess their potential impact on product quality or patient safety. Laboratories may use phenotypic methods, such as biochemical tests and microbial morphology, or genotypic methods, such as polymerase chain reaction, PCR, and DNA sequencing, to identify microorganisms to the genus or species level. 
The guidelines emphasize that identification methods must be validated to ensure accuracy and precision. Assays using microorganisms as test systems. In some cases, microorganisms are used as part of an assay system to determine the potency or concentration of antibiotics and other bioactive substances. These assays, often referred to as microbiological assays, must be validated to ensure that they provide accurate and reproducible results. The guidelines specify that the laboratory must carefully control all variables, including the preparation of inoculum, the incubation conditions, and the measurement of microbial growth or inhibition. Validation of methods. Method validation is a critical aspect of microbiological testing, ensuring that laboratory tests are suitable for their intended purposes. Validation provides confidence that a method will consistently produce reliable results. According to the guidelines, method validation should cover various parameters, including accuracy. This parameter determines how close the test results are to the true value. For microbiological tests, accuracy can be assessed by spiking samples with known concentrations of microorganisms and comparing the test results to the expected counts. A precision Precision refers to the reproducibility of the test results when repeated under the same conditions. The guidelines recommend conducting intralaboratory and interlaboratory precision studies to assess the variability of the test. Specificity. This parameter ensures that the test method can accurately detect the target microorganisms without interference from non-target organisms or other substances in the sample. For example, in a selective media test, Specificity ensures that only the desired microorganisms grow, while others are suppressed. A limit of detection, LOD-LOD refers to the lowest number of microorganisms that the test can detect. Laboratories must demonstrate that their test methods can detect microorganisms even at low levels, particularly for sterility and microbial enumeration tests. A limit of quantitation, LOQ-LOQ is the lowest number of microorganisms that can be reliably quantified. This is particularly important for tests that involve microbial enumeration, where the laboratory needs to know the minimum number of colony-forming units, CFUs, that can be counted accurately. A robustness. Robustness measures the ability of the test method to remain unaffected by small variations in testing conditions, such as changes in incubation temperature or media preparation. A robust method will produce consistent results even when slight deviations from the standard procedure occur. A recovery. Recovery refers to the test method's ability to recover viable microorganisms from a sample. Laboratories must demonstrate that their methods can recover a specified percentage of microorganisms from various sample matrices, such as water, raw materials, or finished products. By thoroughly validating test methods, Laboratories ensure that their testing procedures are reliable and can be trusted to provide accurate results. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found the content informative and helpful as we explored the important aspects of pharmaceutical microbiology and laboratory testing. At PharmaTox, we are committed to delivering valuable insights, expert knowledge, and the latest updates on pharmaceutical practices and innovations. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on everything related to the pharmaceutical industry, be sure to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on our in-depth discussions, interviews with industry experts, and practical tips for success in the pharma world. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're the first to know when we release new content. Whether you're a student, professional, or just someone interested in pharmaceuticals, PharmaTox has something for everyone. Thank you again for your support, and we look forward to having you as part of our growing PharmaTalks community. See you in the next video.